Hi all, how you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So it's Friday, I'm going to do uh, my weekly uh, Bitcoin news. So let's start off with the Bitcoin price. So Bitcoin is now at $61,638.39. Uh, okay, uh, for the week it is down 3.46%, but obviously it's changing about a bit. Uh, market cap uh, one2 uh, trillion uh, volume 22 um, billion and um, the other thing to note is fear and greed is now 46 so we're in a nice sort of stable uh, area neutral zone at the moment uh, other news so bitcoin miner bitcoin miner seller pressure weakening as bitcoin Withdrawal drops 85%. Um, Bitcoin withdrawals from minor affiliated wallets have gone from above 50,000 per day to under 10,000 since the halving data shows. Um, Bitcoin minor withdrawals have decreased by nearly 90% since the time of the block subsidy halving data shows. In a quick take post on June 28, on-chain analytics platform CryptoQuant suggested minor selling pressure is weakening. Okay, so that is good news for the price of uh, Bitcoin. Uh, miners have spent several months adjusting to a new economic reality after April's halving, which cut their subsidy per mine block by 50%. Network fundamentals have reflected a reshuffling uh, taking place since with both hash rate and mining difficulty dropping from all time highs. Uh, after the Bitcoin halving, mining rewards are cut in half to 450 Bitcoins uh, per day. So older model mining machines were no longer used as they were no, no longer cost effective. I'm sure they were still being used in many places, to be honest with you, but obviously it's more inefficient. Uh, quick crypto uh, contributed crypto dan explained uh, hash rate in fact reflects a state of capitulation among miners per the popular hash ribbons metric the 30-day moving average hash rate is below its 60-day equivalent while that in itself is traditionally treated as a buy signal by bitcoin traders crypto dan already sees the process winding down the current market can be seen as being in the process of digesting this sell-off Unfortunately, the quantity and number of Bitcoins miners are sending out of their wallets has been rapidly decreasing recently. OK, um, now Germany. Um, last week I mentioned about Germany selling Bitcoin, uh, but this is the Arkham wallet. So I'll, I'll give you the address if you want that. So this is the address of the um, wallet on uh, Arkham. Now, if you notice here, right at the bottom, you can see that they're selling off. But one thing I did notice is it actually went up. I just find that a little bit strange. Um, yeah, I don't know why it kind of goes up. You'd expect that once it's out of the wallet, they're going to sell it. So maybe that's a good sign, that little blip up. But, you know, we've seen things here go up and down, up and down. So it's a bit, I don't know. Don't know. It could just be, uh, I mean, this is um, a wallet basically that, gets Bitcoin that uh, salvages Bitcoin from uh, dodgy dealings and stuff, okay? So usually when it goes out, it's getting ready to sell. <laughs> but they've gone from 3.5 billion, 3.6 billion probably. Um, so if you look here, so June the 6th, they've gone from 3.5 billion down to... 2.88 billion so they sold about 700 million worth of bitcoin okay or they've taken it out of the wallet okay so it, they don't necessarily uh have sold it okay but this is the thing the likelihood is if they take this out of the wallet it's likely to get sold so there we go they've got 2.8 billion worth of bitcoin left in that wallet now the other thing that happened we've got um Mount Gox, trustee to start Bitcoin uh, cash repayments in July. So after a decade of anticipation, July might finally bring restitution to the users of the now defunct Mount Gox exchange. Mount Gox, uh, the cryptocurrency exchange that lost 850,000 Bitcoin in, in investor funds in 2014, will start repaying its defunct users. Um, Mount Gox Rehabilitation Trust trustee will start processing new payments in bitcoin and bitcoin cash 
starting July 2024. So the, the, the big question here is, when when they start giving their Bitcoin back to these users who unfortunately lost it in 2024 or had it stolen from it from them, I guess, more than lost it, I guess, will they start selling it? That is going to be the big question. And Bitcoin took a bit of a dip um, because of that news. So we, we shall see. Now, also, the U.S. government is selling Bitcoin as well. In June 2024, the U.S. government transferred over 240 million worth of seized Bitcoin uh, to Coinbase. So you can imagine every single government across the globe has got Bitcoin from nefarious, uh, nef nefarious, de uh, not nefarious deeds, uh, from people doing nefarious things. OK, so this move has sparked concerns that the government may sell some of its massive Bitcoin reserves potentially causing downward pressure on the cryptocurrency price. According to reports, the transferred Bitcoin was originally confiscated from convicted drug trafficker Banmeet Singh, who was arrested in London in 2019 and extradited to the US in 2023. As part of this conviction, Singh forfeited over 8,100 Bitcoin, worth around 150 million at the time. Okay, Bitcoin's gone up since 2023. Uh, the U.S. government currently possesses around 214,000 Bitcoin, worth over $13 billion, making it the largest national holder of Bitcoin globally. The majority of this stash comes from seizures related to the shuttered dark web marketplace Silk Road and the Bitfinex hack of 2016. Uh, the transfer to Coinbase signals that the government may be looking to sell some of its long dormant Bitcoin reserves, which could have a significant impact on the market. However, the amount moved so far is relatively minor compared to daily Bitcoin trading volumes, and the government still holds a vast majority of its seized Bitcoin. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, will, if Trump gets in, because obviously we had the first Trump versus Biden debate last night. Don't know if you watched it, but I watched it, and Biden was useless. Okay, that's a bit harsh to call him useless. The guy is old. He shouldn't be doing this. Uh, you know, he's in his 80s. I mean, Trump's only about four years behind him. But brain, uh, uh, brain, the brain working of Trump is much quicker than Biden. I mean, Biden, how many times he messed up his numbers? He said stuff like 150 billion when he meant 150 million. Or he said 150 trillion when he went, meant 150 billion. You know, there's quite a bit of a difference. He, he did that multiple times, though. You, you can, you can... You know, that's fine to mess up a number and correct yourself very quickly. I think he did that about seven times where he got his numbers all mixed up. I mean, it's not very good. It's not a good look. It doesn't show that you're on the ball at all. Um, so I think it was a very weak performance from Biden. Um, I can't see Trump not getting in personally. OK, so that's my personal opinion. Um, so. That could that could um, that could do well for Bitcoin, okay. Um, but we will see. We're we're a long way away. That was the first debate so far, so we'll keep an eye on that. See how well Trump performs against Biden, and vice versa. Okay, so that was the Bitcoin news of twenty eighth of June, twenty twenty four. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.